All right, so this is my digital mixing board on my iPad. This is for the Soundcraft UI24R. And uh, I want you to notice something. Right here, this is the master channel. And you see this little green arrow and the red dot? They're, they're grayed out, that's important. Um, we're gonna flash over here, there we go. This is the actual unit itself. And uh, on this unit right here, we're gonna take this USB. This is just this regular old scan disk USB. It's a fast one, okay? So it's USB 3.0, 32 gigabyte. I got it at like Office Max for like 20 bucks for two of them. We're gonna pop it right in there. And uh, that's the recording slot, okay? So uh, we're gonna do a little bit of recording today. Uh, this thing is awesome. You can see Lexicon, DBX, Digitech technology in there. And all these fancy wires, don't worry about that. That's just guitars and microphones, keyboards, drums, all, all the inputs and outputs plugged in. There's even two sets of headphones going in there. I think one of them's connected to a snake, so. <laughs> but let's flash over here to back to the digital mixing board where you can see now, da 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 this is highlighted green and red. So you can see it now, it's not grayed out. All right, so that enables us to record. Now it's telling us we're, we're eligible for recording because USB is in there. We go to this little arrow right here and here we have um, all the different files. Now this is on multi-track. I'm gonna do a couple different things here. First, I'm gonna delete that session. Ta -da. Take that out. I just did that a minute ago and it's, uh, we don't need to hear that. <laughs> and then over here where it says activate sound check. Now this is required for playback on the multi-track. So if I turn it off, now my microphones will work and everything coming through the PA system is gonna work. Once I kick this on, it's gonna mute everything from the PA system and it's gonna play the multi-track back and, and that's pretty cool. Um, so right now, if we go here to multi-track config, clear all, nothing is selected. I can choose individual things to, like, like channels to, um, to record, or I can just select all and record everything, okay? Go to multi-track, push record, and bang, it's recording. You can see the counter going everything. Go to two track, now this is master left right out, okay? Push record, and it's recording now as well. You see it's stayed illuminated. Um, the cool thing about this is it's recording master left right and multi-track at the same time. So bear with me for a moment because I'm terrible at this YouTube thing by my side. I don't do any editing and this is all like a live video thing. So uh, here we are in the music room. There's my 55 and my, um, my 58. Check one, two. Check one, two. We'll get a little guitar going. <laughs> Let's not. Let's just stop right there. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear that song. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, uh, pop that over there. We'll come back here and, and hang on a second. Boom. So back here, push stop. Go to multi-track, push stop. All right, so we're gonna go back to the two track. We don't need to do anything at the two track except to select the very last track, that's the one we just recorded. And it's gonna play back right now. You can see the status bar going. And it took a second for me to get over to the microphones. You can kinda of hear me talking in the background. Can you hear it? Shh, be very, very quiet. <laughs> All right, it should be coming in any second now. Let's just fast forward. Check one, two. There it is. There's the guitar thing. All right, so we don't need to hear the rest of that. Um, from here, you can take a master left, right. If you got a good mix going, you, you know, just that's gonna be the whole sound coming out of the system um, and bring it into a DAW and do your mix and master there. You just, just EQ it and, and master it. Um, the thing about this one that I have to point out is, if you notice, there was a little twinge of feedback 
and we started to play it, okay? So we'll, we'll come back here. And so when you're playing back on the system, be sure to mute out your microphones and that will eliminate that feedback that's coming through. That's just a little little thing. You hear how it came back in as soon as I, went, I turned it off, right? Um, here's the multi-track. Now, in order to get this to turn on, you know, to play back, you have to hit that activate sound check. If that's on and you go to play, you're not going to hear anything. It's not going to record anything, okay? Make sure you select this. Sometimes it, it tells me there's an error because I don't have this selected. I don't have that on. Um, but right now, I hit it. You can see the status bar going. And you see all the tracks here that we're recording on. This is going to be a different volume, but watch this. This is cool. We're going to go over to the mix game. You can see that it's picking up on the 55. It's picking up on the 58. And there's some coming through other, like bleeding through other lines. Now we can go to this one, go to the gate and gate that out. We can take that signal right out of there. Um, this channel is also cool because you can go here and you have amp modeling, which is Check pretty awesome. Two. All right, so Check one, two. there's that mic, there's that mic. I sang it to the 58, so, and here's the guitar. And here it comes in, you can see your mix right here. All right, so there you go. There's the recording. That's how it's done. It's pretty simple. Um, you know, let's say uh, you, you don't like that section, let that session just delete it, just get rid of it, and no one has to hear it ever again. You can go and record a new one. <laughs> All right, remember, this is really, really easy. Uh, it just takes a little bit of used to, you know, getting used to in the system, just making sure that you run through the stuff just like I did here. And uh, if, if I can do it, you can do it. I'm not technically savvy. I hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. All right. Well,